These actors know how to have a laugh. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 British comedy actors. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be taking a look at British actors who have gained fame through their comedy roles or proven extremely apt at them. Number 10. Simon Pegg this talented comic actor rose to fame as the writer and star of the Channel 4 comedy series Spaced, and later as various protagonists in the popular Three Flavors Cornetto trilogy films, which he also co-wrote with director Edgar Wright. What's the matter, David? I've never taken a shortcut before. Now, Peg stars in the big blockbuster sci-fi movies he had loved as a young lad. However, while he's moved between Star Trek and the Mission Impossible franchises, he hasn't ever forgotten his brilliant comedy roots. Well then, let's get this antique on the roadshow! With or without his good friend and colleague Nick Frost at his side, he's a real funny fella. Oh my god. What? I've got some f***ing Jaffa cakes in my coat pocket. Number 9. Rick Mail. A mainstay of many a British comedy show, Rick Mail came to prominence with the comic strip comedy group, which he founded with other upcoming comedians of the time. Yes, that's right! We're mere loonies! We mean no harm! <laughs> a pioneer of 80s alternative comedy, he had a varied and successful career, including a number of cult classic sitcoms like The Young Ones, The New Statesman, and Blackadder. Hands up who likes me! <laughs> He's also had starring roles in numerous films and delivered some Emmy-worthy voiceover work for the 1995 adaptation of The Wind in the Willows and its sequel, The Willows in Winter. Ooh, I'm so angry. It's just not fair. Number 8. Sasha Baron Cohen From Ali G to Borat and Bruno, this one-of-a-kind funny man has created and portrayed some of the best-known comic characters of the past two decades. Yo! Yo, Wolfo! Put up your hands, or is you going to be shot by us? A talented actor in his own right, he has also performed in films ranging from Tim Burton's Sweeney Todd to Martin Scorsese's Hugo, proving he has a wider range than just straight comedy and satirical parody. Do you hear an atrocity, calamity, corruption? Go! His mockumentary style, through which he often tricks to their enormous chagrin, real-life political figures and celebrities, has often been imitated, but never equaled. Pamela! I am not attracted to you anymore! Not! Number 7. Jennifer Saunders Another member of the comic strip, this multi-award winning comedian, actress and scriptwriter rose to fame with her French and Saunders show, alongside frequent partner Dawn French. I'm going to have to put the lock on, it's like Piccadilly Circus in here. The duo became extremely popular in the 80s and 90s, and their show was reportedly given one of the highest budgets in the history of the BBC. No, I am what you're looking for, Sir Alan, because I am ruthless and I am a total shit. Saunders has written and acted in too many shows to list, but her creation Absolutely Fabulous, which gained her a BAFTA, an Emmy and international fame, remains one of the most loved and acclaimed sitcoms in British TV history. No, no, no! no, no, no. Sorry, I, I can't breathe your second-hand air like that, I'm sorry. <laughs> Number 6. David Jason A surely one of British television's greatest stars, David Jason began his career in the 60s alongside many of the great comedy actors of his generation. Oh, do you know, I think I'm suffering from something incurable. Still, never mind, eh? <laughs> Renowned for his excellent comic timing, he found his most popular role in Derek Delboy Trotter, the leading character of the hugely successful BBC sitcom Only Fools and Horses. You palonka! Other noteworthy appearances include the ITV series The Darling Buds of May, as well as crime drama A Touch of Frost. And don't forget, he's the original voice of Danger Mouse, too. That's going to need a polish this weekend, Penfield. Number 5. Steve Coogan Famous today for his popular Alan Partridge character, which has appeared in multiple TV shows as well as a movie and gained him numerous nominations and awards, Steve Coogan is a versatile actor who really shines when delivering the most absurd and hilarious lines, always with the straightest of straight faces. <laughs> Little pierce my foot on a spike. <laughs> Active in film, both as a writer and an actor, Coogan's big screen highlights include his role as Manchester music legend Tony Wilson in 24 Hour Party People and his appearance in Stephen Frears' Philomena, which he also co-wrote. All the pieces of paper designed to 
help you find him have been destroyed. But guess what? The one piece of paper designed to stop you finding him has been lovingly preserved. Number four, Rowan Atkinson. One of the best known faces in comedy, Rowan Atkinson is a living legend, winner of a BAFTA and an Olivier Award. I only didn't laugh out loud because I was afraid if I did, my head would have fallen off. <laughs> His work as the title characters on Blackadder and Mr Bean, some of the most popular shows on British TV, has made him an icon the world over. But many of his movies have gone on to do well at the box office too, even when the critics have turned up their noses. <laughs> a talented all-round actor, he also appears in British classics Four Weddings and a Funeral and Love Actually. Look, could we be quite quick? Certainly, sir ready in the flashiest of flashes. Number three, John Cleese. As perhaps the most popular Python, John Cleese shot to fame with the world-famous group on the BBC sketch show Monty Python's Flying Circus, and was one of the main contributors to both the TV gags and feature-length movies. Tell me, why do you say good morning when you know perfectly well that it's afternoon? Well, well, well you said good morning. <laughs> but since the original troupe dissolved, he has appeared in and fronted many a comedy show, including the ever-popular Faulty Towers, which he also co-wrote with his then-wife, Connie Booth. Phil, I'll tell him to get some salad cream. I mean, you never know when Henry Kissinger's gonna drop in, do you? Oh, oh. sorry, sorry. <laughs> Elsewhere, Cleese penned the script for the classic comedy film, A Fish Called Wanda, in which he also acted and was reunited with former Python pal, Michael Palin. S sing it, sing the car. Number 2. Peter Sellers Sellers was the great chameleon of British comedy, and his performances rank among the very best in the genre. We must find that woman. From his work on classic Ealing comedies like The Lady Killers, alongside Alec Guinness and other great British comedy actors, to his partnership with Stanley Kubrick on cinematic masterpieces like Lolita and Doctor Strangelove, there was little that this performer couldn't achieve. Mr. President, the technology required is easily within the means of even the smallest nuclear power. But one of his most famous and highly regarded roles remains that of Chief Inspector Clouseau in the Pink Panther series of films, and for good reason. You know, at times like these, I wish I was but a simple peasant. Before we unveil our topic, here are a few honourable mentions. You were let down by your rhubarb and ginger preserve. It was too runny to stay on the scum. I'll just put this over here with the rest of the fire. <laughs> because there's something wrong with your fiance, sir. <laughs> oh my God, she's not Welsh, is she? <laughs> Number one, Charlie Chaplin. For most of his career, Charlie Chaplin, like many other English actors who found fortune across the pond, was a household name in the States. But he was also as British as they come. His Trump persona is probably the most recognisable comic icon in the world, and his early silent films set the template for all comedy to come afterwards, on the big or small screen. Chaplin's approach to his characters, combining slapstick and pathos, as well as his infamous perfectionism, combined to make him one of the most important figures in the history of film. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.